Hello, 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 everyone. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing well. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you, and I thank you all for being here. I truly do. So, very, very interesting. So there's some spirits out there that are trying to get you guys to quit, and you guys are just gonna go harder and smarter. So I heard that these spirits are trying to get you guys to stop. They are trying to get you to stop whatever it is that you're doing. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that they are trying to defeat you in some way. This negative energy is trying to dismantle the good that you have done. And uh, they are trying to get you to quit. So what do we do? We know that the devil is a liar. And we also know that when you are faced with these kinds of things, when the negative energies are trying to get you to stop, you know that you're making headway. You know that you're doing some real, real good in the world. And you know that prosperity is on the way. The little bee spirit, little busy bees. And the spirit guardian of spring activation. So you're being activated to go harder, smarter and harder. And this is exactly why I waited nearly 30 minutes to go online because when I picked up on the energy, I it just blew me away. I couldn't believe it. So this moon in Libra is trying to balance things out. Your energy is trying to balance out the uh, Venus in Cancer. It's moving into Leo and then it's going to go retrograde. And right now, these energies want you to quit. The negative, the toxic nine of swords or the devil energy or whatever energy is trying to make you feel that you're not worthy. It's trying to make you feel defeated and that nothing good is ever going to come to you, etc. I mean, everything you can think of, I, it's, it's hitting me. Pure spirit purification. You're, you're a pure spirit and you're being purified. Now, when I say pure spirit, we know darn well that none of us are perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But you are of the light. You are a pure spirit. You're an angel and you're being activated. And those other people are just toads. Activated. Pure spirit. You're growing leaps and bounds. And you are making progress. And that is something that... Certain energies around you never thought would happen. And I'm here to tell you guys, whatever you're feeling right now, whatever these energies are, whatever is being sent to you, and I believe it's the Nine of Swords and the Devil energy, you're going to get through this. Soul Star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. I want you all to take a deep breath and know you've got you. You need to command your command center in your life. Sacred inner space. Sacred, I mean, uh, sacral chakra, tenderness, and sensuality. They're trying to hit you right where it hurts. They're trying to make you feel so insecure. Cyrus, star blessings. Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. I'm going to just lose it right now. Do you guys see what I just pulled out of here? The dogs are barking and it's sunny outside. Look at this. This is insane. So they want you to stop. They want to try to take away the progress that you've made. These energies don't want you to be seen. Tenderness and sensuality. They don't want you to feel the love. Remember how activated we all were last week? Feeling the love, feeling the, the new inspiration, the new guidance coming in, the earth spirit, the new earth, the Taurus and Jupiter. You're being purified. Two swans, love. You're being gifted. You're transforming the energy. You are truly gifted. You're being purified. She has something like holly or something in her hand and a star. So this is like, this is showing something like a Christmas season or December season, you guys. I want you to know that. And then, boom, Earth, Spring, 
stability season. Night and day is what I'm hearing. Like your life is seriously turning around. And this energy that's coming through that um, came at me at like an hour or so ago, it was heavy. It was strong. Like I could hear the energy saying, oh, oh we will stop you. The Akashic Records. They're not going to stop you. They cannot stop jack shite. They can't stop a damn thing. Boundaries, energetic boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Well, I learned today that I need to understand and learn how to better protect myself psychically. That is for darn sure. And many of you could be learning the same things. We're going to learn it together. We're going to figure it out. You're a chain breaker. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Stargate is open. The full moon in just a few days of Milky Way and Sagittarius. <sighs> Serious star blessings. I cannot make it up. What I'm showing to you guys in the cards is actually happening today. Libra is in the moon sign. Venus is in Cancer. Uh, Pluto is retrograde moving back into uh, Capricorn at like 28 degrees, 29 degrees, a doorway, a number 11. I'm getting like messages, messages, messages while I'm online here. And nobody was calling me all day long. I knew it. I knew at the age of light, you've been training for this your whole life. You guys got this. I'm here for you. I'm here for all of you. Call in your soul family. You guys, I want you to say it out loud and proud. If you're all alone and, you know, come to Galactic Tiger or, um, you know, see what I'm coming up with or whatever. I'm here for you guys. I'm telling you, I'm going to bring the light in. The Gaia Gateway Activation. I'm bringing it in. I'm bringing it in. And with the ancestor, the Anunnaki Light Codes. The Anunnaki, if you guys don't know who they are, the Anunnaki are the aliens that came here before. And they were, an, they're a race. They're a different race of aliens, different from us, different from the Homans. The, the mixture of the human that was made in the Garden of Eden, the star. You're a star. You carry a light. This was part of the download I got this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you're masculine or feminine is what the spirits are telling me right now. That they are pouring love out all over you. You guys are being healed from the inside out. And it's a process. And the Anunnaki light codes are the ancestors that came here to enlighten the humans. And to help, help save America. You're carrying a light. And you can never be stopped. No matter what anyone says, no matter, no matter what anyone does, there's a double nine here. 999. Nine, nine. Well, that's a seven. Nine, nine, and a one. 18. Nine and nine is 18, and that equals a nine, and it's 999. Nine, nine. You guys need to listen to that music. That, um, Man, this energy is just bananas. So you're having a breakthrough. I want you guys to all know that right now. They're, of course, they're gunning for us. They're gunning for us, but we're going to see this. We know it. We see it. We're going to call it out, and we're going to be better, and we're going to stay in the fight, and this, the fight is what? We're peaceful warriors, and we call it out, and we say, you know what, devil? We don't want you here. We do not want you here. Bye. We don't care about your control tactics. We don't care about what you what seed you're trying to plant in our brains that, you know, somehow we're not good enough or you're going to take this away or you're going to take that away, etc. They can't take shit away because you're not confined by any of those codes, none of the matrix, the um the wand, the queen of wands on the bottom, 6 of coins. Eight of Pentacles, all this earth energy, fire energy, the strength, and the Three of Cups, Pisces energy. This could be six people sending you. You've got three protectors or six protectors. You don't need any because you've got your own soul tribe here. This is also calling in your soul tribe. There is something written in the Akashic. This is a Knight of Wands, Warrior Energy, Fast Moving Energy, Ten of Pentacles. So you're gonna you're about to receive uh, major upgrades. 
Look at the money, the eight of coins, the three of coins, you're here working hard, six of coins, 10 of coins. Of course, of course they're gonna try to send, they're gonna send their best warrior to try to distract you. You have the seven of cups and the three of cups, that equals the 10 of cups. Sky's the limit. You're not going anywhere. Whatever they sending, whatever they thought they were gonna send to you, it's, oh my good, look at this. I wanna show you guys this. Look at, so we have Mayot and we have the Nine of Swords. We have some demon entity, some weirdo. I don't know if he's, God, I, wow. You don't even wanna know what I just heard. I, I'm, I'm actually not even gonna say that. I'm not. Someone got paid a coin to try to take out a light worker. Whatever money, oh, it, was, it just flew in reverse. Whatever this Queen of Wands got to try to harm you, that demon is going right back to them, man or woman. And I think it says it's a woman. They, they paid or got paid little or nothing. That's how stupid, that's how ignorant some people are. You picked up on the energy and you, you made haste. So everything that they do, like, wow. So every, <laughs> they've come to collect. He's got like a cigarette in his mouth or something, this demon. Wow. I'm trying to figure out if I know this demon. You might not know it. Wow, that is freaky. These might be people that you guys know. And you're you're a truth you're a truth teller. I don't know if they smoke or what. It looks like he, this demon has like a cigarette in his mouth. How weird, how freaky. So whatever that person got paid and everything they do only makes, it only makes you stronger and it makes you come into contact with your uh, divine partner. No matter what age you are, you guys. I'm gonna find out who the King of Wands is down here. He's a warrior, you know who he is. It could be your own warrior spirit I'm hearing. It's a warrior warning you. There's a warrior that came and warned you about this or kept you safe, I'm hearing. Did, got you to leave an environment, a situation. It could have been your higher self. It could have just been a warning. A fast warning came in and got you going away from whatever danger this was. You, I think it's your own warrior spirit. Spirit. It was a tower and you you somehow were kind of like already tuned in and tapped into something weird happening. Cuz I I really want to empower you guys. I really do. I want you to I want you guys to know out there that you have this innate gift with inside of you and you just have to remember to trust yourself now more than ever because you're bigger and and more luminescent. Be the willow tree. Bend. Bend. Not breaking. They can't break you. Owl spirit. Wisdom. Man, there is some, somebody. Grace. Wise woman of the grove. And there's a ring in this treasure chest. And it's red. It's the sacral. Something about your sexuality. And remember you guys, I was talking about um, this morning. I might have gotten these energies angry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't even care. I might have gotten, I might have gotten the energies angry about talking about the... Uh, the demons and the sexual demon people and how they're all over the place. Yeah. Knight of Swords. 
So angels to the rescue is what I'm hearing. There's the devil. You're a truth speaker. Oh my God, the devil just showed up. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There you are. I just heard shit's about to hit the fan. There you are. Innocent, young, beautiful, full of life, new, new, just a little baby kid, like four, five, six. How old is this child here? Innocence. Those bastards. You're a protect, protected child of the universe. There's the father. And here's the page of wands with a bunch of little demons around it. And the nine of pentacles. They tried to blind you to, to the truth. They tried to keep you stuck at a distance somehow through some sort of wickedry. I don't know, some sort of love spell. I had to bring these cards out, but you were already gone. You got hip to the shit somehow. And there's the Ace of Cups, and the star is already out here. And you have blown the lid off of this shit. Whoever you are, you're a truth speaker, you're a warrior, you're a psychic. And you can you can you can somehow communicate with the dead. A wheel of fortune, the hermit. I don't know. I just heard Gemini twin. I don't know what that means exactly. I know it means something. And then someone's here holding on to the heart. Holding something real, real close to their chest. Some option or something of yours that belongs to you. Or someone holds you close to their heart. A king of swords. It could be someone on the other side of the universe. It's somebody maybe that you knew from childhood. It could be on the veil. Ten of swords, nine of cups. They're rooting, they're rooting for you guys to stay strong, stay vigilant. And um, that's the end of this message. You have a, a grandmother spirit. You have a powerful dragon. Just call on the dragon. It's going to help you. This is the number 11. It's the justice card. Have the dragons fire off. Sometimes you have to meet the energy. And, and you just you call on the higher ups. To take it out. Take them out. They'll just handle it. Because on the earthly realm, you know, you, you're capable of only doing what you can do. And then you have to leave the rest up to the, the angels on the other side. And if you're... Here's another Akashic record statement. And, and Thoth is here. So you're protected. Akurian light codes. Heart of Source and the Ace of Swords, Sword of Light. Divine protection, cord cutting, breakthrough energy. They they just it's just not gonna stop. You're just gonna rise through all of this. You're you're gonna meet and greet and be in places you never thought possible. You never thought this was gonna happen. Well, it's now happening. I guarantee you, and I cannot wait to hear in the comments. And they've been trying to hunt you down and take your spirit. And they've been, they've been trying to do this. They can't. It's all going back now. Do you, I want you to see how this is picked up here. How, how the angels have it laid out. They're just showing it perfectly. Like it couldn't be better. Whoever this fire sign is. She could be a fire sign. She could be an air sign. Okay, but she looks, in the, she looks as though it's a mother figure or something. So you have Mayat, right? And you have you and you're in bed. And you're an adult woman here. And then the five of coins behind this queen of wands. So for whatever reason, karmic or otherwise, whatever reasons you guys came to this earth, okay? You have 
you have a divine destiny that's written in the Akashic Records and you're coming here and you have to fulfill certain obligations to raise your vibration, to actively engage and or not engage, right? It could be about disengagement. But with Mayotte here and, and living by sacred rules and having the sword and the feather, okay? And then the nine of swords with this demon back here. That means someone actively tried to do something to you in this lifetime that was against everything. And somehow you managed to say F it, 888, eight, eight, and, and continue to work. And even though the scales were unbalanced from the time you popped out of the vagina, you popped out into some psychotic psycho ward of psychos. A psycho ward of psychos, you guys. I can't make it up. This is what's happening. This is what's being told. And the only thing that's gotten you through is who, whoever it is that you represent in the other realms and you came here to enlighten all of this. And somehow today, you know, through this card reading or something, somebody's caught wind of... Wind. Sorry, angels. I didn't mean to toss your angel selves around, but... This is written in the records. Keep your boundaries up. You're breaking chains. And you're going to become something new and different, exciting, and, and more authentic than you have ever been. Because you have never not been authentic. Because you have been fighting these demons since the time that you were born. And just because the Ace of Cups here, this just means this is a very intuitive child. This means it looks to me as though this child could be anywhere from three to seven is what I'm hearing. And this person is intuitive. Um, you know, they came out of the waters. They're emotional. They're creative. They're psychic. They And see how this power thing comes in from the Ten of Swords? Breaking chains. So here's the chains. The mental anguish, right? The torture. And then you, you pop out and here you are. And then you're, you, you, you get planted because that's your, that's your uh, Akashic record. You know, it's written, hey, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and this. And, you know, hopefully at this time, space, reality, I'm going to wake up to my own reality. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to sort through the mess. I'm going to sort through my own pain and my own agony. And... I'm going to see everything as it's supposed to be seen in the truth, in the light of day. And, and then you carry on and you go up and up and up in your light worker skills. And you never have to go through that experience ever again. Them's the rules. Them's the rules, you guys. And people pop in and out of this time, space, reality for just that reason. To enlighten things, to expose the demons, because they hide in dark, dark corners. And sometimes they can't get found. And light workers, have, the energy has to go in and enlighten up those areas. And your light being, your light. When you walk into a room and you light a candle or into a dark room and you light a candle, that's you. I hope that's making sense. So the more you speak out and you bring this stuff into light. Now, today I didn't know until I did this reading that um, there was actively people paying to F you up. To keep you from your own Ten of Pentacles. Yes, indeedy. And they definitely knew more than you knew. Because I'm picking up from this lady that she knew more than you ever knew. She was way far ahead of you spiritually. Then, you know, you might have gotten caught, um, you know, stuck, not caught. It's not caught. You got stuck maybe um, hung up in a pain incident. And it derailed you for a minute. And remember, time, space, reality, there is none. Energies, I'm now learning that energies can actually see you stuck and know that you can't move and, and know that you're struggling even 
they know that you're struggling and they know you're struggling when you come to them and ask them, you know, hey, I need your help. I need your, could you please um, help me out with something because I can't figure this out. I, I'm having struggling, you know, trying to figure this and that. I say don't go to anyone for help anymore. I, I know that's terrible. I, I don't know if I, I mean spiritually. Because in my opinion right now, from what Spirit is telling me right now in this reading for whoever, not right now. Don't go to any unknowners. Don't go to any people that you do not know because they will turn on you. How do I know that? You just have to trust me on that. The gateway is open for you. It's not open for anyone else. That's what Spirit's telling me. The great gathering. Stay the course. You're already doing it. You did it the moment you arrived. Even if you were just a baby. They were looking at you. And I, I saw I saw in the reading this morning, you guys, um, it had a miracle was about to happen. Remember, we got that in this morning's reading when I was talking about people hurting children and sexually abusing and sexual trauma and all that root stuff came out. Look at the ring. Someone might have got, someone might have tried to, Wow. Sacrifice you. Really actually sacrifice your, your soul. I can't. I can't. I gotta go. This is just too far out there. But it is what it is. I need you guys to know that. You're totally effing protected. I called out the energies. I'm putting it here. And that's how it is. And you do have a dragon. You have several. And you have an, you have an entire force. The Anunnaki, look them up, you guys, light workers. Look them up. They are here. You call in your light body, call in your light worker team, and they will completely protect you from whatever it is, whatever energy, whatever is being sent to you to make you feel or take you out or whatever it is that's happening. Because I'm telling you, something happened. Something happened. I don't know what you guys did. You, you're breaking chains. You're... you're Holding up a sword. You're holding up the light. And it's scaring the hell out of these energies. Because I know that. Why? Because at the beginning of the video, I told you guys, I heard an energy. I felt an energy that was telling everybody, I don't, you know, not just me, everyone that, oh, you know, we're going to stop you. And, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. And you might as well quit. I kept hearing, oh, just quit now. And. You know, there's no point in going on and doing any of this. You're not doing any good for anybody. You're not helping anybody. Blah, 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 blah. That kind of negative talk. That's what I'm talking about. The Ten of Swords. That's what I'm referring to. So whoever is talking like that or whatever part of your brain is telling yourself that drag, you got to pull yourself together, Mr. Sister, whoever you are out there. Any of that thicket of thorns, that is to be dispelled. You, you need not turn around and go back into the thicket if that's what you're thinking. Get some rest and power up your dragon spirit and call on your angels and your sacred ones. And they, they will be there for you. They will be there for you. There's a warning here. A warning. This deer is telling this girl, do not go in there. Don't go in there. You're going in the wrong direction. Whatever you did, you got to turn around. Look at spirit is trying to stop some female, some young girl from going into the thicket of uncertainty. It's hard to tell in this card if she's coming out of the thicket or going into the thicket. But and what I'm hearing is you need to stop it. Stop what you're doing. Turn around. You're going the wrong way. Wisdom in the old soul. Wisdom, wisdom, owl spirit. Seen in the darkness. Number 27. This is um, this is some passion, fire, root, sexual energy. They're trying to stop you. I don't know if you guys need to just go jump in the river or what. This is crazy. This energy is bananas. Completely out of its mind. 
Frog spirit renewal. Oh yeah, they're they're throwing magic all over you. They've been throwing magic all over you. I don't know what kind of magic it is, but it's not gonna touch you. But they are definitely trying. So there's the message. Uh, good luck with everything. Take a shower, take a bath, drink lots of water, stay away from anything or anyone that is upsetting you. Do not, I repeat, do not go into the thicket. Do not go where devils, you know, don't do that. I don't know if some sort of Venus or spirit is trying to get you to stop going back towards something. Back towards something. Don't do anything that you used to do. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. You guys are going to know what that means. This is the strongest warning I've ever felt in the seven years I've done YouTube. The very strongest. So this is a very, very big deal. And I've gotten lots of energies that came to me. But this one was the biggest of all. Air spirit. Knowledge. Wisdom. You have great wisdom inside of you. Great, great wisdom and it's dying to come out. Happiness is here for you and there's a unicorn. You're going to do it. You're going to get this message. Whatever it is, just out there, whoever gets this message, whenever you receive this message, any time, space, reality, whether I'm still here on the YouTube or not or on another planet or another whatever, I want you guys to t stop whatever it is that you're doing right now today and I want you to go the opposite direction. I want you to go to whatever makes you feel light and free and unafraid. If it feels scary, you're going in the wrong direction. If you feel scared, if you feel any kind of like vibrational frequency shift, if you feel any kind of fear, don't go in that direction. That's your warning signal. Okay? That's your warning signal. Don't go, don't go, don't even look at even this butterfly is red. Something was stolen. Was something somebody somebody stole something when somebody was a child. I want to get to the bottom of this. But I am gonna go because I feel like the energy is already empathic star seed portals, energetic sovereignty, absorb me, absorbing what's not yours. Child of the cosmos. Good luck, everybody. You're going to be all right. I know you're going to be okay. I just took a deep breath. It's going to be okay. And by the way, this is number one, and this is the sort of truth. She's on a she's on a, a swan boat. She's wearing emerald with a pink sail. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Diamonds in the rough. Surrender to the sweetness. Yeah, anything that makes you feel frightened, run. <laughs> run the other way. I'm always telling you guys, don't go there. <laughs> okay, you guys, good luck, everybody, and be great and be well. You're going to get through this. I know you are just because the universe is telling me that you are. That's how I know because I have faith. I have faith in God and I have faith in you. Thank you. Bye.